Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Lego City Undercover. Let's continue. So, I didn't exit out the game, but I changed the NVIDIA control pattern panel settings so that we'll see if it will no longer keep shaders on the hard drive. That might be the issue. Also, it is worth mentioning as we just are fiddling with settings that I've turned off shadow quality completely. Apparently that there was an even lower setting. Um, I think we'll probably turn some of this stuff back on if we can ever reach a point where we're not having the micro stuttering. It's not happening a lot, but it, it's still happening enough. Uh, you know, it's really hard to drive the car with the left right trigger. Um, Storyline in the game, we're trying to. There's a micro stutter, so yeah. Yeah, there, there's like two more things I think I could try, uh, but I probably. Yeah, be fine. I might be done with the entirety of this game before I can even get around to resetting my computer. Uh, my backup that's running. Uh, here's that hospital, by the way, that she. or the female main character. It, and interesting, we have like floating balloons that aren't Lego at all. That seems out of nowhere. Like a Macy's Day Parade. Uh, you can see that there's a... This is going to be like the taller section of the, th the area. Seems to be like there's a like, carnival or something going on. Um, so they wanted me to drive through this area clearly and see it, but you're not even in a good position to see it. Like, I can't right click and get in first person perspective, Whoa. which would Sorry. be a better perspective when driving around. Um, so, yeah. And again, we have this weirdness where... It's a Chinese gang. Hey, Chase. And a now you're Chinese an undercover detective. Slash I've added a Japanese new function to your communicator. Building. Is it a voice recorder? Hmm. So I can do private eye style monologues? Hmm. No. I was disappointed. But I decided to hear the lady out. It's an audio <laughs> scanner. You just point it at a window and you can hear what's being said inside the room. You'll need to get to a vantage point to use it though. It sounded hmm. like it might be useful. I thanked the nice lady and set off into the night. It's the daytime. <laughs> Good luck, Chase. These jokes are still kind of funny. I don't see how the audio scanner, though, would be useful. I should get to somewhere I can listen out for clues. So, yeah, we can. I see it now. Like we're gonna just have more spots where we have to. We have to stand in a certain certain place and press a certain button, and that's really all it's gonna be. Um, it's three of 17 disguise boosts and one new character and a gold brick so we can look a little bit more it'll be interesting to scan this area in a second um, I wanted to kind of see how this breaks down now um, we have a lock section so we can unlock this, and I think that's a smart move because that's a different cl character class. We have an ice skater and a mechanic, so we don't really need to unlock that. This lock section, resonance, I don't think there's really any reason to buy any of these. Uh, but yeah, we still have four like hero classes. Hmm. So there's a smaller collection of miners. Uh, there's a decent number of criminals that are going to have the same ability. And there's a decent number of police. Right. So we'll probably run into more areas. Maybe a sandwich? 
where we see more of those green spots that we have to use, but I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see a lot of them. Yep. So this, this almost feels like you're seeing the best basic geometry of the game and without any textures and then it, it is a really kind of good comparison when you look at it texturized just how much is going on uh, really more than probably should be going on and I'm gonna have to figure out some way to blow up these I think to get to the top okay and you have a noodle shop that's designed like a noodle box. This is weird. It's it's weird in particular when you know that like Lego isn't uh, isn't particularly Asian at all, and they're doing dangerously racist voices for half of the Asian characters. Um, um, the only thing I guess I could say is. This is a stunt ramp. Interesting. To jump over the to the other side. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't need to build that right now. Who wants me to go? over in this direction. So it's pointing me to the beginning of how we're going to climb the buildings and this is going to be a large amount of building climbing. It seems pretty obvious that's how this is going to break down. Just don't know how to open that. Oh, apparently this starts new events. Hmm. You have to get right under this to reach where we're going. Is there... I can't see. Is there something? Yeah, there's a rope. <laughs> hmm. That's an awkward camera angle. Yeah, the Macy Day's balloons makes no sense. Really, really shouldn't be in this game. It's It would be fine for something else. And I guess maybe, again, this might have been leftover stuff from LEGO Batman 1 or experimental stuff from LEGO Batman 2. You do sometimes, when making a game, have two different departments make the same thing twice and then take your pick of whichever works better or combine the two efforts um, you don't do that you really shouldn't do that a lot but it wouldn't make sense so you have to hold a why am I phoning you because you're late for your interview where are you oh, you're meant to be a chance limo place get a move on so, Can you believe that? That Bucky Butler guy. The one who wants to join the gang? Yeah, mm. he was at the art gallery. Mm. Well, they do have an excellent collection of cubist sculptures. What does cubist mean? Mm. <laughs> Bucky Butler. Mm. Why is that name familiar? I busted that guy, like two years ago. If I get him out of the picture... Then I could take his place at the job interview and join Chan's gang. Okay. Guess. Where did I put it? Let's see. What what did I just do? Um I need to get to the art gallery and arrest Bucky Butler before he could get to Chan's limo company. Vehicle robbery challenge. Drive the vehicle into lockup. I guess I hit B 
fast, too fast. So that's like a challenge. I need to get to the art gallery and arrest Bucky Butler so we can't do anything with that company. right now. Honestly, I'm starting to think the best solution to the micro stuttering might be to just play at a much lower resolution and then have it scaled up by my recording software. That's not something I would like to do, for sure. Uh, that's that's an annoying admit immense of defeat, and certainly it doesn't future-proof your footage. But at the end of the day, these Lego games are kind of a special case, so I'm gonna have to figure out some way to get up there. Uh, it felt like the uh, the green listening spots also may have unlocked something else. Had I gone and listened to some other areas or offices. Uh, it also kind of feels like that is an excuse that they're using to not have you actually go inside the building. Uh, you could easily imagine that their first intention... I must get some way to blow up gold pieces later on. Uh, yeah, it feels like their original intention could be... Um, something else uh, later on to to have m had me go inside that building and do several platforming standard lego games yeah we are straight up in new york city like the, let's just take a moment to look like this section here is a fraction of New York City that was later used in Lego Marvel Super Heroes or possibly used before in Lego Marvel Super Heroes and then cut and pasted to make Lego City undercover. Hmm. Yeah, I guess maybe they opened themselves up to having a problem by calling this game series Lego City Undercover, you can't really get away from that because the the branding there has to exist. It seems like they want you to drive a car through that area. Um, so, what is this supposed to be a reference to, I wonder? Um, let's see if we can zoom out a little bit further. Seems like a reference maybe to the Hulk, but that wouldn't really make sense either. Hmm. And say I hit B again. And that's just going to jump me back. So the, the, the art gallery there's a problem with tapping B. Limo company. So this is a car dealership. Interesting. Um... Interesting, they, they're giving me road directions. Uh, now, this feels more like Universal Studios. Uh, and that's not in New York. The Lego New York area. Hmm. hmm. How far is this? Ooh, this is considerably far. This is considerably, considerably far. And it seems like the street signs are actually indicators of of what where places go. And I guess this is supposed to be Central Park. That seems about the right place for Central Park. No way. It's nice. Again, not very Lego-y, though. But you're moving so slow in comparison to the square footage. This is the problem with a lot of games, is that you create these giant open-world areas, and then you're running around doing nothing. This would work well if you were, like, Superman or The Flash, and you could move four times as fast. But 
even if I were to get something that would have me move and run twice as fast, I'd still feel a little bit slow. I think you probably should bite the bullet if you were going to do this. Um, if it is, if this came out after Lego Marvel Super Heroes, which I'd, I'd have to do the research and I don't know. I don't think it did. But if it had, and you had all of New York pre-built and pre-made, then I think you just make the game, call it Lego City Undercover, and then... Uh, then say you're you're in Lego New York or uh, you're in Manhattan uh, uh, but a Lego fied version of it or you just you just don't make mention of it that, that you, you call it Lego City sometimes well you, you could do a joke about it frankly you could do Lego City sometimes it's also known as the Big Apple and that would be all you would have to really do. Um, it would definitely be better than what we've got here where the city is inconsistent and unfinished, which the only reason why I think you would get inconsistent, unfinished experience like this is because they were a couple years or uh, at least a couple months away from finishing a full Manhattan design. On the other hand, you have buildings like this and a building like that, this museum, that don't show up in Lego Marvel Super Heroes. And as far as I know, they never showed up in any other Lego game either. Maybe maybe one of the Lego Batman games, didn't it? Where is he? I, I would also argue even Lego Batman 3 had some, some smaller areas and was less open world than Lego Batman 2 where Lego Batman 2 specifically gave us a small Arkham City island. Uh, Lego Batman 3 had us fast travel with, without really having an open world at all. Um, it makes it feel like two different teams worked on Lego Batman 2 versus Lego Batman 3. Um, so you have to be a cop to use this ability? Alright. So it's saying up. Now it's saying left. Now it's saying down. Now it's saying... What do you think of this one? Hmm. You know how they say a picture paints a thousand words? Yes. Well, they're going to have to invent about 999 new ones for hmm. rubbish for that thing. So we heard that, but that wasn't the right one. It seems like it wants me to hold A for the right Goodbye, ones. Goodbye, sir. I hope you enjoyed the gallery. Uh, yeah, thanks. I picked up this real nice print from the gift shop. Gosh, it looks just like the original. <laughs> it sure does. Well, see ya. <laughs> I didn't even know the gift shop sold prints. Hey, you! Stop! I know you! You're that cop hmm. from years ago! Whoa. Oh, way to tip off your target, Chase. I, uh, Chase is a funny talk. name. Uh, considering we end up chasing people. You know, the, the main complaint, though, that the... the... game causes micro-stuttering whenever... Uh -oh. uh, whenever we're in... A, the car section is not something I'm really running into. It is as bad in the car section, if not better. Oh, no. See, we might get a, a weird situation here where uh, I finish this guy off before we even get a decent chase out of this. Yeah! Uh, they really needed to put like a photo effect there something to indicate it was taking pictures and even if the game actually wasn't taking screenshots of pictures uh, uh, just a snap 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 oh, wow uh, 
something to make it feel more dramatic. Let's see, now this might be a problem. I may be so far away that unless there's some significant amount of rubber banding, uh, although it seems like there actually is a pretty significant amount of rubber banding. Also seems like if I'm running over certain things, I'm getting rewarded for that. This does fully lock into the idea of being in an action cop shell. Uh, retry story mission. Wow, I lost. That's weird for a kid's game, wouldn't you think? Like, you, you would think it, they would program that better? So that you couldn't just uh, not catch up with them or get lost? Now, when I did the jump there, and, and this is true for the other time also, I noticed that there's uh, a few seconds in which it, uh, there we go, got him. Let's see, where is he? Stop in the name of the law. Uh, Tackle him and arrest him. Oh man, why do you keep arresting me? You were going to join Chan's gang. That ain't a criminal offense. Sheesh, I don't <laughs> like to tell people how to do their own job, but if you're going to arrest me for anything, it should be for the painting I just stole, you fool. Huh? Oh, sausages. <laughs> Thanks, Bucky. Okay, I better get to my job interview. I think. <laughs> Joining a known criminal organization probably is illegal if I would just venture a guess uh, At the very least you put yourself at the risk of a, a conspiracy uh, Charge I would say conspiracy to commit criminal activity I don't think you're freedom of association rights in the United States expands to joining criminal organizations. Although maybe it does. Uh, that, that might be an interesting court case. Uh, if you were, say, the accountant of a mob and you didn't know that they were, uh, you didn't do anything illegal. Hmm. Looks like when you get an ability, you'll you'll be able to shoot yourself in this cannon all the way to the other side of the map as a short shortcut mode. Of course, that's not going to help you right now. Hmm. Yeah, but I was saying when when it does the little jump animation, it pauses for a second then it jumps ahead three or four frames and then it then it continues uh, almost as if these games uh, in some reason can't handle having too many frames ahead and there is in the Nvidia control panel a setting that's called low latency mode where it doesn't try to build as many frames ahead uh, but there really shouldn't be a reason or a need for that um, what happens in games is if they make more frames per second than they display so if you're if you have a 60 frame a second game and let's say it's going really well and running and making 120 frames per second uh, those frames are just discarded uh, in the GPU that, that really shouldn't cause a problem. A lot of the old school emulators um, now uh, are have re reached a level of perfection where they are either faster than the original hardware as far as frames that can be rendered per second uh, or faster than is could ever possibly be needed 
So, so in uh, there's like no more improvement to be made, or the emulator itself, if it continues to be uh, improved upon, stops being something that's uh, emulating and pretending to to be the original hardware, and starts becoming something that is a engine that is better than what it originally was. We need to look at the map and see how far this is. And placement of these levels. Uh, there's a mistake here, to say the least. Uh, they they should have faded out after I caught that guy and faded me back in so I was only a few steps away from the next area. It, it, it feels like the open world section of this is now becoming more of a distraction burden than something you'd actually like to deal with. Like, yeah, I would have preferred a more linear experience. So I turned shadows off. Is there any noticeable... Like, I guess my character doesn't have a shadow now. So, you lose a little bit of that realism. But it, in a Lego game, it almost feels like, who cares? Because... How's it going? This there. is an emergency. I need to go this way so I can get the super bricks. Pause, and then forward. I didn't get the super bricks up by doing that. They are in this area anyways. Hmm. So the, I don't have enough super bricks to build that. And if I was to build it, then I think I'd get the super bricks back. Hmm. Yeah. There's a car made out of Legos, but then just look at the screen. Just a random selection of a place to look. We see the minifigs walking around, and we see one Lego car, and then the rest of the area is not Lego at all. Really, really don't like that. And I'm trying to pull up the scanner if I can remember which button is which. Why is this character... In a different outfit than everybody else. Hmm. This is a little disconcerting because it does imply to me. I guess if they have a, a outfit like that, they might be somebody that you interact with. Hmm. It's it's a little disconcerting how much of this area I can scan and there's nothing here. Maybe that means the open world section and gameplay will be better. Uh, then, yeah, just the basicness of, of a lot of these polygons is weird to say the least. Hmm. So do I want to turn on as we experiment here. We played for about 30 minutes with shadows all the way off. Let's turn them back on the low and see. Like when I turn off motion blur, depth of field bloom, and FSAA, I'm not really losing a lot. FSAA, uh, like forward sampling, anti aliasing, I think is what that stands for. Having that on would increase the graphics a little bit at higher resolutions, even 1080p, but not not by a lot. But just having shadows disappear. So there's a tree That'll be nice. with a shadow there. And then let's just go back and turn it off again. Uh, because it's certainly easy to miss. Yeah, nice there's a tree without the shell. I like her. Hmm. 
it's rather surprising that you can have like significant amounts of of video effects and detail just completely missing in a game and nobody's even you're not likely to even recognize it uh, at least I'm not perhaps other people are likely to recognize it hmm. so I'll leave shadows on low I think that deserves to be on and it doesn't seem like it's really affecting the micro stuttering much although maybe it was because we've been going 30 minutes and we've only seen like one micro stutter hmm. let's see this is another case of a game area I might not be well suited to be in I'm not sure how many more things there are things and abilities this is probably a race alright well that was a character turn lock skin I missed let's just move the story You're forward the new boy? Yes, we really sir. just need to oh. move all the story forward I was promised a thug you look more respectable than I was hoping uh, well then, maybe you should get some glasses, old man. Ha <laughs> That's more like it! <laughs> okay, I need you to pick someone up. Oh, are they feeling sad? In a car! Obviously. The person is Forrest Blackwell. The multi-billionaire? That is correct. It won't be easy, though. Mr. Blackwell is constantly hounded by the paparazzi. They <laughs> will try to follow you, and Mr. Blackwell will not like this. Got it. Not a problem. Because hmm. I am awesome at driving. Good boy. Go <laughs> Chase is at Blackwell Tower. Half and be polite. The He's our only customer. Character in um The Lego movie. What is his name? Emmett. Emmett? Yeah, I guess that's it. What are you sitting around? <sighs> Alright. It's funny how they crash into each other seemingly based on nothing that uh, I did. And it's probably because they are just crashing into each other through the bad path finding. You can see we have 2 minutes and 28 seconds to get to our location. So this is just a race. Uh, we're having too many of these vehicles and things. Now on the other hand, is this really GTA? No. Uh, we've not even been given a gun. This has been made very kid friendly. Uh, even though Lego okay, sets okay. do have blasters from the Star Wars universe, they don't really have guns. Um, so our grappling gun has been the only gun of any kind of real sort. Um, so, yeah, this is a pale comparison to GTA, uh, if you are going to make that comparison. It's not really allowing you to have the kind of movability I think you have later on in GTA experiences where you can like get in helicopters and parachute jump and, and do all kinds of crazy things. My turn, that's all right. Here we are. Didn't destroy the ammo. That wasn't a real level, though. That was just kind of an instance. Mr. Blackwell, are you still thinking about the scandal? Why won't you let anyone in your tower anymore? Hmm. Is it true you prefer cats to dogs? Gentlemen, please, give Mr. Blackwell hmm. some privacy. 
He merely wishes to go somewhere mysterious for secretive reasons he doesn't want you to know about. Hmm. One more question, sir. What, where are you going? Hey, where are you Forrest going? Well, sir, what don't happened? leave me. It's my job. Where can I take hmm. you, sir? Very kind of you to ask, young man. I shall be attending one of the last ever performances of the Perpetual Inbox at the Gillespie Theatre. I trust you have been told of my aversion to the paparazzi. Yes, sir. I'll do my best to shake them off. I appreciate that this may require you to adopt a somewhat, shall we say, <laughs> unorthodox driving style. It could get a little rough. Oh, do not worry on my account. I have ridden atop hmm. ships of the desert. Nothing can compare to the discomfort that inflicts upon one's posterior. Are you a patron of the arts yourself, young man? Well, I like that TV show with the monkey who solves crimes. Ah, hmm. a true connoisseur. So, uh, may I ask what the play you're seeing is about? So I'm trying to race here to the end. The usual concerns of petty individual. Hmm. Sounds like my old job. Ah, to have your plans thwarted by fools. But what can you do? You either ignore. I don't think I'm supposed to kill all the paparazzi. <laughs> yes. Mad. Uh, Michael Stutter there. Or you can sneak behind their backs and get your own way without them knowing. The hmm. third option. Don't tell anyone. But that's the one I favor. Me too. Well, I hope you enjoy the play anyway. Thank you. It's interesting they're not really encouraging me to drive to correctly. To they're telling me to basically drive in the, between the lanes. Trip coming up. So, feels like we should have more backstory on this guy. He should be like a big sub-boss that, that we would have investigated over the course of a few different uh Few different missions and then the revelation should come and be pretty obvious that that's not a micro hitch uh, is that it well I think I just about survived that journey driver there's no need to wait I shall be getting home by other means goodbye goodbye sir why did he squash down like that? that? That looked like a glitch. Interesting. That was admirable driving for Mr. Blackwell. Your complete <laughs> lack of respect for traffic laws proves <laughs> that you are an awful person and is to be commended. Thanks. <laughs> I hate traffic laws. Yes. <laughs> I sense you may be the sort of individual we are looking for. Have you ever stolen anything i stole some pens oh. a thousand pens <laughs> from a child with a limp excellent <laughs> then you are to be offered a promotion go to the alleyway to the left of the salvage yard in pagoda my employer will be anticipating your arrival there he will explain the details let's go meet mr chen hmm yeah, so we kind of ignore that guy who would have, should have been a big player in the story and instead we're back on Mr. Chin um, who I thought was the person we were talking to before, so who is that? They come from? Was that even a character that was named? Oh man, micro stuttering and bad driving. Um, it's over there. I feel like I should probably just abandon the vehicle at this point. Here you've got a guy that's stuck. See, the way these games work typically is you're, uh, when you get far enough away from all the other characters, they either freeze their actions or the they continue their actions but they're calculated with much less precision which can often cause some bugs to happen 
Interesting we have a washing machine sound effect going on there. There, somebody just spawned out of nowhere. So it seems like in our case, uh, for this game, people just disappear once they're far enough away from you and, and spawn when they start approaching you without that really even working as good as it could. Perfect. I'm here about a promotion. You? You look like a cop. Hmm. Well, I'm not. See? Ugh. Greetings, driver. You want to make some money? Stop that! I will fire you, prancing fools! <laughs> uh, uh, what do you got in mind? Getaway driving? Not so fast. Careful driving? No! <laughs> <laughs> this is a funny idea, but I don't know how First, this you have to characterizes yourself. Mr. Chen. Here is a of instructions. Follow them, and then report to my salvage yard. And don't get caught like those knuckleheads did! Sure thing, Mr. Chen. Please, call me sir. Why are you still here? Hmm. So he's a accident prone okay. so buffoon cover a car from his rival while they're having a shindig. I guess with that anger makes me issues. a party pooper. Huh. I don't think I've ever pooped a party before. Hmm. Yeah, I I don't get the characterization there. Like like, wouldn't you want him intimidating and dangerous? Let's take a moment and look around some more and just see how many collectibles there are in a general circle here. Why is that texture different? Yeah, there's nothing around here. There's another guy that just popped in. Hmm. You don't really get anything for destroying these newsstands other than maybe some studs of bricks. Alright, well... I wonder as I unlock more cars, will I get more variety of cars? Because, you know, two of the exact same cars did just drive by. Um, but then I also kind of wonder if you get a variety of people and a variety of cars, uh, you run into the Sorry, risk of, of more textures being on the screen than really needs to be on the screen. Um, this is a rather small amount of look, let's look how far we're going we're going all the way across um, this is actually a rather small amount of traffic but you could probably cut it in half and you could severely reduce the number of minifigs on screen and if performance was an issue the, I suppose the question is is performance actually an issue because of the large number of textures on screen or is it an issue due to something completely unrelated to that probably something completely unrelated to that like uh, there is a game called uh, prototype one and two that you ran around New York and there was tons of people and I think a decent number of cars driving around the Manhattan area um, Lego Marvel superheroes clearly uh, had a bunch of people and a bunch of cars driving around. Uh, I'm sure any modern game set in a Manhattan-like area would have a similar situation. Th this almost is kind of nostalgic to have an open world like this as I feel 
we're starting to introduce or enter a world uh, a new generation of games that will that are giving up on the idea of having um, having open worlds for no that reason. We have to guard this place. Yeah. You know, we hmm. can sneak off to that other party by the hotel pool. Hmm. Maybe if they started playing some decent music and serve up some food. Hmm. Where did I put so it? we're gonna steal the car once we get the guards to leave. And we're going to, There's meant to get the cards to leave. How do they expect me to serve up burnt meat poisoning in a bun without a barbecue? I didn't train for two. So I had to break three things. To be a chef so I could deal with hey, a barbecue. The audio Everybody was playing clean. on the right side, but the character was on the left side the this time. of my headphones. Now That's I just weird. need some stuff to cook on it. So let's come over here and people are dancing, but they really don't have any. Dude, my music system blew up. That can't even the hear the music I playing play it. until I, I get so really pain. close to it. So that's all I had to do is fix kind it. Of electrical whiz. But you're gonna need another record before you can spin the decks. All right. And kablamo! <laughs> oh, uh, that wasn't meant to happen. Okay. So what's this guy gonna do? And now I shall bring her back. Shazamablam! A record. Hmm. Should I have used Shamazakazu? Or maybe Krabakatabra? No, that's okay. for making seafood appear. So now we got some kind of mini game. It's DDR up. Right. The Lego movie video game had a mini game like this that was super annoying. Uh, and I imagine we will probably run into one of these that is actually really terrible. Uh, it was annoying because it was too hard to do and again that makes no sense for a kids game. Like I, I as somebody who has decades of experience playing video games should not have a struggle. Uh oh. I think the rhythm just got me. Catch you later. Hmm. All right, so then the question is where where do I find the chicken? The music doesn't even reach the other yep. side of this. Just need someone to get me I'm some food. Hmm. So where am I supposed to be going to get food? Who could possibly get some food for me? Hint. It's just pointing to that. Alright, alright, so. Hey! I'm not getting it myself. Let's I just scan and see if we can look like. find where it might be. And there's a lot of color being in that. Yep. Somebody's just throwing a costume party. To get me some food. Possibly get some food for me. Hint. Where would the food be? <gasps> Is this a food? It can only be a matter of days. That's like a food section. That's some kind of fruit. Hunting rats some kind of water ability. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I should have to fall go this far. The police have figured out 
Let's run over here and see if maybe there's something I'm missing. Okay, here's a box of food. That's pretty far and I have to walk very slowly. They 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 programmed this. They would would have had the game test this to to know it was gonna take like twenty seconds to carry that. Chicken? That's perfect. Could you put it on there for me? I haven't washed thanks. Thirty seconds and these will be ready to hold down the B button and it'll skip the dialogue. Do I smell hmm. food cooking? I think I do. Yeah, bad timing. Certainly bad timing going on here with just the dialogue and the bad level design. And we're not really in one of the major 15 levels. So we're just kind of doing side instances. That clearly we have to do to move the story forward. Uh, secret car washes? <laughs> Get him! Alright. So, yeah, costume party. I was right about that. Micro stuttering aside, this is a great way to to have a lot of the silly characters that are in the minifig series uh, that happen pretty frequently, uh, in which they make silly characters uh, in blind bags. Uh, it's kind of basically like a loot box in real world for for, for Lego games, uh, Lego f sets. Uh, not, it's not really a set. Uh, but the, those characters always have the problem in which they don't really fit in anything and they, there's never been a case really where we could see, see them used in large amounts in any of the other LEGO games with the exception maybe LEGO Worlds and maybe LEGO Dimensions. Um, so clearly I need to grapple that guy. Because he's not getting knocked down. But we won't ever see those kind of outfits again unless we unlock them. Alright. So, this way we go. Police are hey, chasing you, don't let Chase. them catch you. Is it true you're a member of a criminal gang now? Yeah, that's right. I'm working for Chan Chuang. <gasps> I can't believe you do that. I admired you, Chase! <laughs> My it's not real, Frank. I'm undercover, remember? So I can find out where Rex is and arrest him? <laughs> yeah, I knew that. <laughs> You don't have to sign that good luck in your new job card anymore. Listen, Chan asked me to take a car from one of his rivals. He wasn't exactly a nice guy, but he should probably be compensated by the city. Do you think you can get that cleared by someone in charge? Sure, no. I can totally do that. I once gave a really important message from the mayor to the mayor. Oh, okay. I'm sending it over now. See you, Frank. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you're undercover and you steal a car, you don't compensate the other people unless they're working with you. And if you were going to do that, you would probably just contact them and say, Hey, let's pretend your car is stolen. And so for this investigation. Um, but yeah, if you're stealing a car from one gang member to another gang member, uh, for another gang member, then then you just do it. Hmm. 
So I guess this area would be completely devoid of shadow. Or this would just be a very static shadow. Hey, great work, driver. You have proven yourself to be most reliable. Which is good, because I need you to go to the office at my limo place. The burglar alarm has gone off. I would send Feng or Lee, but they're tied up at the moment. Which is why I told you not to play with skipping ropes during work hours! <laughs> what about the old guy who works at your limo company? I had to fire him for being too familiar with me, which I regret, as he's my father. If you find anyone in there, I want you to deal with them. Do you understand? Yeah? Oh, and while you're in there, the people who employ my services value their privacy. So don't look at my records! I wouldn't dream of it. So we're gonna go look at his records, obviously. Okay, so we are kind of going backwards and forwards from the last couple places. Like, honestly, once we got on this island, we had a mission that really just took us up to about, oh, I think maybe we got this far. I don't think we got that far. And then we went back this way, and then we've just kind of gone in circles. At one point, we went over here and stole the car and then brought it back over here through the tunnel. Um, seems like there's some kind Such of underground nice passageway also that we'll use. I don't know what these equate to though. This section is still completely empty of things and this section is still completely empty of things. So yeah, feels like we're going to eventually unlock a real level in at least this section. And then we kind of would need to move to a different area. And there, there are still some areas to move to and look around, but it's, it's a little weird. A little weird how this is pacing out. It's a little weird how this whole thing is working. I, I wonder if there's going to be a level here almost certainly a level there maybe a level there almost certainly a level there hmm. meanwhile as we're trying to move the story forward and trying not to get too bummed out on the micro stuttering which I think only happened maybe five times in an hour so once every ten minutes it's not not great definitely but not terrible Still, uh, we really didn't make much progress. We're at 9.3% complete. We have 6 of 9 of 39 red bricks. We didn't get any red bricks. We did, I believe, unlock several people. Maybe 3 or 4. Uh, we maybe unlocked a vehicle or 2. And we probably got about 2 gold bricks. Um... It's hard to kind of rush through this and speedrun this the way I think you should. Uh, the way this is paced, it's just kind of slow. It's, it's really, really slow for a Lego game and for a kid's game. And it feels very awkward compared to Lego Marvel Super Heroes where I really didn't even know there was an open world until nearly complete with the main story. In fact, I may not have even known that it was an open world at all until I had completed the main story levels because it just put everything so linear. Um, there would have been a way that I could have exited to the hub world and and gone to the New York uh, Manhattan area in Lego Marvel Superheroes, but there really wasn't a good reason to do that. So... I, from what I recall, and it has been a long, long time, Lego Marvel Super Heroes was a very decent standard Lego game for the first third of it, in which I did just the stories. Then a way better game because it had a major 
Manhattan Open World events, and then a pretty decent standard Lego game, uh, because then uh, after I'd done the open world stuff, I had reason to go back and play all the levels again and get some more collectibles. Um, this doesn't feel like it's going to work that way. It feels like we're going to kind of grind and have to trudge through the uh, levels. Then once we're done with all the levels, we're going to have to go through a kind of disappointing open world, which we're already having to deal with. And then we're going to have to go through the levels a second time. And we've only seen about four or five of the levels and none of them are very impressive so far. Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box. And if you want to support me even further, there's a link to Patreon. Or you can friend me on Steam and gift me a game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.